Well, it's about the Gucci family and about the implosion of that line when run by the family, about greed, about ambition, about family relationships. I play uh, Rodolfo Gucci, who, along with his brother Aldo, had inherited the firm from their father. And uh, I'm an Italian. We run the firm, Aldo runs it in New York, I run it in, in, in Italy, in Rome and Milan. Rodolfo was an actor. He was a film actor, and he married a very beautiful German actress who he adored, who was a much better actor than he was. And so he sort of gave it up, but adored her, and she died. So when we meet him in the movie, he is, uh, he's still obsessed with her. He's actually cutting together, spends all his time cutting together bits of her movies uh, into a sort of collage and is not very interested in the family firm of Gucci. Uh, so it potters along, providing him with a fine income, but his brother Aldo uh, has great plans. I thought the script of Gucci was it's a fantastic story. It's based on a book, can't remember the name of the book, but it's about the Gucci's, and that's a pretty uh, rip-roaring yarn. And the script takes that, I mean, it's Italian, it's flamboyant, it's, it's a bit of fun. Ridley, because he's a great director, he, uh, you know, with a great track record, made some fantastic films. I worked with him last on Kingdom of Heaven out in Morocco, so it's always nice to be asked again. The Gucci's like to think that they're aristocracy. They aren't, but they like to think they are. Patrizia certainly is not. She's a real go-getter, a fantastic woman, but um, a snob like Rodolfo, who I played, he wanted far better, he imagined, for his son. Little did he know that she would do such great things for the company. Rodolfo is very controlling of Maurizio, treats him like a sort of 12-year-old, is very reliant on him and his company, I mean his personal company. Maurizio lives with his father because his father has no one else apart from on screen, his wife. So Maurizio is important and I think Rodolfo tries to sort of put him on ice, stop him growing up into an individual, which of course he is, I mean, he's in his 20s, and resents the fact very much that he wants to leave home, that he wants to get married to this unsuitable woman. And he, of course, when Maurizio moves out, Rodolfo misses him enormously and realizes he's made a huge mistake. Aldo is a go-getter, a slightly a vulgarian. New York suits him very well compared with Italy, which from Rodolfo's point of view is much more European and classical. But Aldo is, uh, is a man determined that the firm of Gucci will expand enormously, something Rodolfo is not at all keen on. <laughs>